Bonnie, let's start with the view. How is it yes. going with the ladies? <laughs> it's going really well. You know, this is my fourth year on the show, but it's our second year where the table is just very stable and we're friends. I, I know people don't believe that, but we, we really are. It's just really good because there are so many things to talk about oh, now. Yeah. We're very different, but we're very passionate. And the bottom line is we have each other's backs. We really are a cohesive group and it's a safe place for us to be different and have differences of opinion so it's it's been a really good year for me it's been a great ride yeah to watch. i was on in the early days back with barbara walters yes but i yes. disagree with everybody i see you barbara <laughs> star in the back i was like i'm going with you i'm going with you <laughs> tell us about truth about murder what are we going to say i'm very very proud of this show this is the first show that i'm not only a host of but i'm also the executive producer so truth about murder is really um different in the sense that it's a true crime show but it also is a show about the victims it comes from the perspective of the victims as opposed to these shows that talk about kind of you know in the mind of a serial killer and I know that's important but I wanted to talk about what happens when something happens to someone that you love how does it affect the community and the best friend and the husband uh, and the mom and the dad and and those are the things that we explore now I, I don't explore the celebrity cases and I know those are important too but I just explore the stuff that happens right next door in a small town somewhere in middle America or in and the what South. what happens after all And this what happens what I love, the after. heart of it. Yeah. What about for you? What happened at age seven that sort of propelled all of that? Yeah, and it's something that I never talked about, and then I thought it was really time for me to talk about. My uncle was stabbed in front of me, and I was seven years old, and my family never talked about it. And it never. And in fact, recent, just recently, just last year, I talked to my father about it, and his response was, you remember that? Literally, we moved from the Bronx afterwards. I lost all my friends. My father, it changed his life. It was his only brother. My grandmother, of course, changed, but we never talked about it. And I decided uh, that I wanted to talk about these things, that victims need to talk about yeah. these things, survivors need to talk about it, and that's real therapy for me. And this show has been a form of therapy because uh, I just, I'm so encouraged by the strength that I've seen and some of these things are really dark but above all else I've just seen the strength and it's been a really beautiful journey for me actually the next episode tell us about Lisa Fine Lisa is Fine, Fine. Yeah. she is murdered it's a very sad story but it happens in a really beautiful place and that's another thing that I've always been interested in you know people think that bad things don't happen in beautiful places her husband comes home and finds her dead and it's about what happens when you find someone dead in your home, your beautiful wife, and there's no forced entry. So who is the first person that you look at? You look at the husband. the husband. Because by and large, women are killed not by stranger danger, but by people who they think love them. And that's another thing that I want our viewers to know. Um, domestic violence is just rampant. And so, you know, there are a lot of twists and turns, but the message is um, what happens when one of your loved ones. Suffer. And what about your podcast? <gasps> yes. Ah, are I, we ever going to find this guy? It's called Have You Seen This Man? And, and nobody has seen this man. They have not seen him. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's uh, been 45 years. His name is Lester Eubanks. He's been on the run. He raped and killed a 14 year old girl. He was convicted of it he confessed to the crime so we know that it's Lester and he literally was given the opportunity to go Christmas shopping Christmas shopping unbelievable um, and he never came back he walked out with a group of inmates for you know being a good inmate and then he just never came back and we think that he spent a lot of time in Los Angeles sort of in South Central LA just sort of bled into the fabric of LA and uh, we have this one marshal uh, that has really made it his life to, to find, find him. It. And we hope that when people are listening to this... Or people, they're calling in they're non-stop. We're, we're getting, getting tips. We've made six episodes. You can find it on whatever podcast yep. app that you can. We're hoping that people will call in. It's like one eight six six four wanted Okay. Uh, and we really hope that people will help us out. We've gotten a lot of tips already. It's sunny. You have so much going on. I do, don't so I? great to me. We didn't get into our teenage kids. We're trying to get one into Harvard. I, I know. Mean, and we're going to make them go. Okay, that's what you need to know. So nice to meet so you. So good to see Love you. Sunny. Thank you. Thank you.
She was great. By the way, I think her son already got into Harvard. He's deciding. Well, but that. the best part of the interview, yeah. she told me that Barbara Walters still calls in to tell no. me about the view of, like, I like this segment, more of this, less of that. She watches every day. Every day and calls in. Come on, that's the OG, OG. right there. Uh, by the way, Truth About Murder with Sonny Hostin airs Tuesdays on Investigation Discovery. And catch her podcast, Have You Seen This Man, whenever you want to listen. Really good stuff.